Bum, 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 bum. What a poor, lonely little wolf. Goodbye, wolf. Ho oh, ho, that thing is huge. Oh, never mind. It looked big, but it's not. Killer slug, this isn't you. Trying to get really annoying. That was a hell of a lot more annoying than it should have been. Uh, anyway, and I don't have that. I don't have Esther either, so. Hey, I should have bought more. Well, 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 what do we have here? Village of Taunt. This is the village where I was born and raised. It seems to be pretty deserted. After the plague struck, most of the residents left. But for the time being, let's head to my house. There's not much there, but we should be able to get some rest. A wandering swordsman with a bit of a vacation for customizing. In the custom section of the menu, did you know you can upgrade your weapons, for example? This is a normal crystal. And this is a poison ore. You got the great stuff now. Ugh. Great sword. I'll buy one. I'm sure you'll be back in the party soon. Great dagger. Mail. Cloak. Great tunic. She's not here. She will be. Each turn in battle. Damn. <laughs> Thank you. 
Great mail. It's pretty design. Iron robe. Great cloak. Just bought nothing but fur coats. Dun, dun. I wonder, can everybody use a fur coat? Yeah, they can, and the defense will go up for everybody. That is funny. I might as well just buy them. I mean, because everybody's going to, then... Oh, let's sell the rest of the stuff. Oh yeah, the weapons. Iron sword. 80. Iron sword plus 9. Oh, that's right, I'm already using them. Alright, I can sell everything else, though. So, weapons. Iron, iron. Maybe I'll keep that. Iron, bronze. That too. And that. And that. Iron sickle. Iron, iron. Great, great. Great. Oh, this is the one I'm not getting rid of. I'm getting rid of these, though. Iron, iron. Yeah, I'm keeping that, though. Iron. Sell. Iron dress, sell. Iron robe, sell. Great mail, sell. Great cloak. I'll hang on to that. Ten thousand. Damn. This. Strength and speed, however, in tons is five down. <laughs> Bye. Because we don't have our healer. So we'll need a couple of these. Thank <laughs> you. 
Kastan. Rage adds Dredge. No, nope, I don't. Yep, this we need. Actually, where's the pleasant? That was it. I have the Klepto one as usual. Anthem Power. That counter will be really, really good. Albert will be using doing the physical attacks. Cutscene. This is home. Give me a little time and I'll fix something for I'll fix something for supper. Why not rather leave that to me? Given this is your first time home in a while, why not take Julia out and show her around? But, I want to visit your parents' grave, Albert. Why there, of all places? Please, Albert, take me there. If that's really what you want, we'll find a graveyard in the north end of the village. Just follow me. I should save. Yeah, there's that dick wad. Is that you, Albert? I know you're a knight who fights for Restoria. That's so awesome. where your mother and mother and father are sleeping Albert yes that's right they died of the plague when they came through here was it was it my father's fault Julia those closest to you are dead Albert 
I, I, I'm sorry, Albert. I'm so sorry. Don't cry, it's not your fault. But, while it's true Dr. Morel was behind both the plague and the revenants, he's no longer alive. Now all that's left to do is defeat any revenants created by Valdrin, and this whole crisis will be resolved. We need to make sure we're the ones to stop a tragedy like this from ever happening again. So will you help me? Esther must feel the same way you do. What do you say we get back to my and see what kind of grub Bruno's managed to cook up? You are late returning. Supper is already prepared. Wow, did you make all this? Who else? What did you think it was? It looks delicious. Wash up and seat yourselves at the table. You don't have to ask me twice. Man, I ate a lot tonight. What's the matter, Magnus? This richness, yet yeah, not so bold. I have never tasted flavors that come together in such harmony. Says Bruno certain, certainly knows how to cook. Good to know you're satisfied. Albert? What is it? I'm sleepy. That's because your body needs to digest your food. Alright, let's get you to bed. Suddenly feeling strange. What is the matter, Al? I'm starting to slip out of consciousness. You will now be able to possess Albert's body, Magnus. What are you doing? There is someone who wishes to speak with you. However, Albert was a hindrance. So I put him to sleep. Speak with me? Who? This is the first time we have direct we have met directly, Magnus. You are Rahab. I need to talk with you alone, so I had Bruno assist me. <laughs> what do you want from me? Your help. And why would I want to help you? Isn't it obvious? It's for both our good. My ambition is to become queen of the demons. Whether by coincidence or not, we are in, in an advantage, advantageous position over other demons being in this world. Because of our demon and human powers? Exactly. And why I have been working with Bruno this entire time to hunt down revenants, or in other words, demons. Demons cannot kill demons, however our existence are outside such absolute providence. Does Bruno know your ambition? Yes, of course. He's only concerned about exterminating revenants, so our relationship is mutual. While at present, our contract remains 50-50, the day will soon come when I must deal with him personally. Then I take it him working with you means he has complete confidence in his ability to control you. No doubt the reason for it is because his mental ability is far above the average human. Even when unconscious, he is still able to bind me by his will. And while I said 50-50 before, in all actually, I am, at, I am at a disadvantage. That's why I want you to lend me your power, Magnus. In what way? Your human vessel, Albert, is on like Bruno and very naive. If you put all your effort into it, you could possess his body at any time. That is why when I turn on Bruno, I want your help to fight against him. You see, Bruno, who has always drawn a line in the sand has for some reason began to trust Albert. Moreover, if this same Albert were to attack him, it would likely catch him off guard. While his guard is down, I will possess his body. In short, you want me to possess Albert's body and help you possess Bruno's. Exactly. Tell me what is in it, in it for me. You'll become number two in perdition, and I'll even give the human role to you. You can't say it's a bad deal, right? <laughs> I think you underestimate me. Why would I serve under you? However, on the other hand, if you would be willing to serve under me, I might just consider your offer. Don't kid yourself, I would never serve under you. Then this conversation is over. Wait! Where do you think you're going? Is it not obvious? To bed. Of course, with a stomach this full, I have grown tired. Instead of possessing that body, you're going to sleep? Here's your chance for freedom and you're throwing it away? 
Don't tell me you become soft like the rest of these humans. Do not fool yourself. If I desire to do anything, I will do it using my own strength. I do not need any help from you. Don't be so stupid. Then again, I should have known as a demon, you're nothing more than a half-wit. A half-wit, you say? How do you suppose so? Because you're a fool who doesn't know them, doesn't know themselves. You disappoint me. I'll fulfill my ambition by myself, so don't get in my way. Hmm. That is fine by me. <laughs>